Are you sick? Are you facing disappointment, stagnation, failure, barrenness, miscarriage, whatever? Get me one piece of candle and a black marker. You can use a black barrel or a black marker. Just write whatever you are tired of. You can put sickness. Please don't joke with this. It is highly recommended. I recommend this for you. If really you have anything you want to drop. Write it. You can write as many as you can. Fill up the, the, the candle with those things you are about to drop. To drop. I, I repeat myself again. Make sure you go for this prayer. Okay. In the book of uh, Lamentation, Lamentation 3, verse 37 said, Who is it that said a thing in your life and it will come to pass when our Father in heaven have not said so, commanded so? You see that thing that you are facing and you know this is not ordinary. Whatever is happening in your life right now that you want to drop, write it on the candle. After writing it, you just need a night. But if you can do it more and more, it is very simple. Go ahead and do it more. But by the grace of God, after one night, you will have a reason to smile. After writing it, just pick up your Bible. By now, you should know what Matthew 7, 7 said. He said, you should just ask. You shall be given. And John 14, verses 14 also said, he said, ask anything in my name and you will receive it. I hope you understand. So do not forget what faith is. You need faith. That very thing you are hoping for, that you've not seen, that you know you will definitely say it. That is your faith. So go into the book of Exodus 23, verse 25 to 26. Read that verse. After reading it, just light this candle. This, these things you wrote here, this is what you want to drop. Light the candle. This thing should be, this very assignment should be done last thing in the evening. Last thing in the evening. If you know you are done with everything, you are not going anywhere, no more picking calls. Okay? You just own it. You do not need distraction. On the candle. Let it be. Just on the candle and drop it in one place. All you just need is worship. He said, if you can worship me, the Lord your God, I will remove that sickness away from your body. There will be no barrier in your land if only you can worship. Just begin to worship. As you are worshiping, you will start saying, Lord, today, the sickness is out of my body. Let me tell you this. If only you are ready, the things you wrote here are burning out of your life. Just begin to worship as the candle is going down. Begin to worship in his spirit and in truth. Begin to worship him like never before. Sing any song you can sing. You can use your language. Any, any song. Just begin to worship your God. After worshiping, allow the candle to the end. Do not off it. Let those things you do not want burn out of your life. I will recommend overnight for you, all nights, begin to worship. As you are worshiping, you are just be canceling every, whatever you wrote here, every failure, poverty, death, sickness, stagnation, whatever you wrote on the candle. Just be casting it out of your life. As you are worshiping, take some a few seconds. Today, oh Lord, that sickness is out of my body. It's going out, Lord. It will, it will never Remain in your body again after this prayer. Worship again and again. After worship, if you can stay till the candle finish, it's okay. But if you cannot stay, maybe you want to go and sleep. Allow the candle to end. But I recommend all night for you until the candle finished, okay? After everything, make sure you always say, So shall it be in Jesus' name. Worship God. He said you should worship, He will do it for you. Then pick up the remaining candle, that's the leftover. After the burning, okay? Make sure if you do not have a space to bury it, the leftover, go and wrap it. Go and put it in your bin, in a waste bin. Don't, the bin you used to put those, your remaining food, you know, leftover food, put it inside. Or you have a, a, a pit toilet, drop it inside the pit toilet. It is done. 